apparently. All right, so, um, yeah. I guess it doesn't matter where I'm from. Yeah, I'll just keep this over here, actually. Yeah, because we're both, it's a virtual tabletop. So, yeah, all right, internet, hi. We'll just snuggle up next to each other digitally. Yeah, this is Max and I cuddling on the chair next to each other. Playing, oh, baby, we playing, always. playing super hot The Card Game by Board and Dice. I was supposed Super to get a copy of this. <laughs> I was supposed to get a copy of this because I backed the Kickstarter at a level where they'd give it to me, but they didn't give it to me, and they won't. So yeah, it sounds questionably Fuck legal. Them, I guess. I don't know. Also, um, I like shuffling this bullet deck because they're all bullets, so it doesn't matter what I do to it. Yeah. So this is based on the smash hit super hot, smash indie hit super hot that that computer game that everybody liked. So. In this game, the cards only move when you move. <laughs> All right, so we, we read Sorta. the rules. <laughs> it's weird. Like, they're, they they still take actions even if you don't do anything is the thing that I don't really get, right? Well, so the thing is, so the thing is, I think, so you, you can wait, and I think wait is just shaking the mouse back and forth and waiting for a bullet to pass right by you because you're in a good place. No, but you move straight to six, so they actually get to fire anyway. <laughs> Yeah, well, they all six get to... is the point where they do actions. Yeah, well, they six all get... is the point where they hurt you. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, let's try to figure this game out. So we both we both start by drawing four cards, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's a few things we're not really super used to yet. Um, let's check this. Uh, well, firstly, firstly, set up. It did say take one card from each player's deck. Okay. Let me put these. And then we back shuffle then. them. It doesn't matter what it is. Just okay. pluck a card, flip it over, tell me what you got. You a, got P1, so you go first. And now put that back in your deck. I got a what? Put that back in your deck now. Okay. Uh, so that, uh, oh, was that a two? It looked like a one. That was a two. That was a, yeah, it was a two fight slash move. No, 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 it's not the that part. It was the P1 up at the top that we were looking at. Oh, I didn't look Since at that Since it was here. player one, you go first. Okay. You get the first turn. All right, so then we start by filling the line, I believe. Yes. And we also oh, uh, we also have to take our two goal cards. Yes. Let me go back up to the setup thing at the top. Ooh, man, that's weird. Yeah, so we have okay. two goal cards. Um, group all bullet cards, place them face up, form a bullet deck. Yep. Shuffle all obstacle cards and place six of them face up to next to each other, forming a line. Yep. All right. Place so... remaining obstacle cards face up as the obstacle deck left of the line. Face up, it says. So we have okay. So let me a little. So we get up to level four in this one because we're playing. So we need to hold. So at some point during this level, we need to, uh, in in either order, hold one of each kind of card in our hand. So one bullet. One bullet, one, uh, one, I don't know, one location? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. One tool? One tool. Um, one dude and one box. That bullet, though, isn't an actual bullet, because the bullet doesn't have a marker associated with it. So it, I think it's, you have to hold one gun. Well, no, I'm looking at no, the bottom yeah, right corner, let's look at, right? Because we're looking at the bottom corners, yeah. So we have location and we have dude. I have a box, Maybe it... which is which is statue. Yeah. One sec. Let me just search decks just to see if there is a thing with that bullet symbol or if it's just an actual bullet you got to have. And then add five cards to your hand on the same turn by drawing and from the line. I guess you just have to get fucking shot. <laughs> Because, yeah, none of these are. Yeah, I guess. That, okay. Why would the mechanic ask you to get shot? That's not very good. Because, Max, you have to make mistakes in order to learn. <laughs> oh, okay. Excuse me. i got to learn get that valuable game experience. Yeah. R respect the respect the lore? Uh. <laughs> also, man, this opening, this, 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 this opening okay. section sucks, but I think I can skip a bunch of the dudes with shotguns by trying to Okay, so this is why they Leave say play below line. This is why they say that you can't play more cards than you need because you're not allowed to because playing cards advances the queue basically. 
So we have to be able, we have to play an amount of power equal to the number of things on this. And let's see, for playing cards. Or no, these are oh, it's it's here. These are the things because gun is two power. Dude with gun is two power, and then safe space is four of these. But it doesn't seem like there's so any wait, reason. So wait, to... so you can play these on any obstacles you feel like, not just the ones that are coming up. That's what. Uh, that's what. Uh, that's that's the way that it seems to be written. That's weird. Because otherwise, you wouldn't have incentive to to play a bunch of cards to skip a bunch of things. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically, if you play three cards. You're going to get past these inherently. Mm -hmm. So the things you actually need to deal with are these. Yeah, but you can't deal with the thing on the top of the on the top of the queue. Or the thing that's Oh, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just these two yeah. then. Cuz this doesn't do anything if I don't solve it. These are the only two threatening ones at all. Okay. If you play three cards anyway. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out how I can deal with this because I can play f I can play four cards out of my hand real easy, um, and then um, so let's see because I can only deal with dude with gun by attacking. Okay, well, so let's first first get this out of the way. Do you want to start trying to build towards getting each type of card, or do you want to start building towards uh, add five cards in your hand in the same turn? Let's see. Because pliers will help with the draw card strat. Because you draw back up to four cards and you're out of cards. Oh, right, yeah. But, and you can um, heal a bullet with it as well. Um, yeah, so I might try to... Uh, so I might try to avoid... I might, uh, Yeah, so I might try to build towards collecting things. Okay, I'll start working on trying to figure out a draw card strat. Because I have, I have... I think we both have dude and box in our hand. I have dodge and two dodge, two punch. Yeah, so dodge is a dodge and mine is a box. And punch is a uh, dude yes, shape. You're correct. Uh, I'm going to search through my deck just to know what's in there, and then I'm going to reshuffle it. Okay, everything is just dodge and punch in our starting decks. Got it. We have no non dodge or punch. Yeah. So let's see. So I don't want to get rid of flip the table because I like that. <laughs> Well, again, you don't need to get rid of these. Yeah, but the thing, so the thing is, I only the thing deck. is, I have the thing is, I have three fight and one dodge, so that means I can only deal with one dude with gun. Oh, okay, I see. What and you're then saying. dude with shotgun will come up and and fire bullet. <laughs> fire blat. <laughs> Suka blat. Brat, brat. Yeah. <laughs> So I could, um, so I, if I played, if I played all of my cards on safe space, I could destroy safe space and then I could remove the, the first four things from the deck. You can't play four cards though. Can you not play four cards? You, you can play, play up to three. Okay. Then there's no way that I can deal with more than one obstacle. Uh, cause yeah, let me double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's only up to three. Um, maybe not. Maybe you can play as many as you want. Maybe I'm lying. I don't know. Where does it say how many cards you're allowed to play? Use cards. So yeah, we're trying to understand this game, and it's it's got 20 pages of rules, and the game itself only has like... Maybe you're allowed to use as many as you want. Maybe I was lying. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, is you can use as many cards okay, as you want. I don't know why I internalized only three. Maybe I just... Because the example always... used three. Yeah, maybe that's it. And then... Oh, yeah, yeah. Time only moves when you do, and they mention the three. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's why. Okay, so so you can use as many as you want, which uh, I can actually use that to does do... so increase if I did... the draw plan. If I destroy pliers, then that sends it to used cards, right? Um, or if you destroy things, does that move it to new cards? Think let's I let's see destroy places it um, in the new cards area. New yeah. cards area, which will immediately come into your hand in a moment. 
Yeah, so I could... So that'll actually put you on the draw plan pretty fast. Yeah. So, but I have, in order to use my cards, I have to place my cards in the used card area, which puts them in obstacle discard eventually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, there's like no... But then I also get all the cards that get removed from the queue. By yes, doing that. exactly. So all four matter, of those. Yeah. Though, wait, if you overcome, if you overcome the safe space thing, it's just going to be an empty spot when it gets cleaned up. Yeah, but then we remove all the dudes with shotguns, which is my plan. Yeah, fair. Because otherwise, I can only not. remove the table and one dude with a shotgun. Yeah. Okay. That that makes sense. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna place. So I'm gonna punch the pliers i'm gonna punch the safe space i'm gonna punch it three times and i'm gonna dodge it once <laughs> oh the safe space never know what hit it all right so let me stack these fu whoa okay so let me stack these fuckers up hello there we go uh and then i guess i remove all i guess i move all of these into uh Let's see. You move all of these into player discard, I believe. Okay. Your player discard. I have my own personal player discard. Yeah, and then this one goes into new card area. Yes. And then I think... Well, we'll... it would have gone there immediately, and then the thing gets cleaned up here, and then it's not there to be cleaned up. Yeah. Um, And then we move down to uh, obstacle abilities. When an enemy shoots, which these guys both shoot one... Mm -hmm. Um. Place number of bullet cards into obstacle discard equal to the number of bullets on the enemy. So two two into obstacle discard. Okay. And then uh, I think we do we refill the line immediately? Uh yes, refill the line. During this phase, any obstacle cards remaining in the line are switched to the right, then the line is refilled and keep keep going, so. Katana. How about a glass? Oh yeah, how about a glass is oh yeah, plus one dodge in your discard pile, which is crazy. Or one oh That's one per one per card in your discard pile. Yeah. Because you're just um, throwing a bunch of garbage at them. And and then used cards go into obstacles, I believe. Let's see. Uh one sec. Refill. When do the used cards go there? Face down obstacle cards. You have removed cards from the line, moved cards from the used cards area into the obstacle discard. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, oh yeah, so new cards get drawn out of my hand. And so the uh, if if they we need to draw more things and the obstacle deck is empty we shuffle the obstacle discard and create new obstacle so got bullets just hang out there for a while yeah and the other thing is that if um if bullets get if if the bullet deck runs out then we lose that seems so weird but okay the explanation is there's too many fucking bullets now <laughs> all right okay i am in a fucking pickle this is trash for me because fact is, I cannot get past a lot of this. Yeah, this is uh, this is some shenanigans, huh? Yeah, let me just share my hand. I'm just going to drop it on the table. This is a co-op game. Yeah, that's fair. Dodge, dodge, you punch, see my punch. problem. <laughs> yeah. At the, oh, um, man. And dude with katana is going to fuck you up. Yeah, that's the biggest problem, right? Discard a card from your hand, yeah. Because, yeah, aside from you don't have enough cards to deal with dude with katana, and uh, you could I... punch, so you could punch out two of the gun guys, and then katana gets, and then katana gets cycled. Although, wait, no, you can't, because you only have two punches. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? I don't have enough total shit. Like, this, this seems really rough as a starting out thing that can happen. Yeah. Because, like... What do I do about this? Absolutely nothing. Like, I'm stuck. I cannot use these dodges in my hand. They are unable to be used. Yeah, so all you can do is There is no situation in which I am illegally allowed to use them. All you can so do is punch So all I can do is guy. punch out a guy, and that removes the two guns. But that's it. Yeah. That sucks ass. 
That's that's super hot. The card game. That's excessively rude. I feel, but okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah gonna use two punches on. I don't know this guy with a gun. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, scoop up these two guys with guns. Mm-hmm. Um, into my discard pile. Which one sec? We're just we're just gonna invent. <laughs> You get the poppers this card. <laughs> yep. Um then these go in uh in here. This goes to hand. Um then go to resolution. Dude shoots a bullet. Um I discard a card from my hand. Guess what? It's gonna be one of these fucking dodges. Yeah, that's fair. Um, however, it just says discard, which means it goes to player discard, which could be worse. Yeah. I mean, he's really just sh- making me chew through my deck better, so maybe that's not bad. All right. Uh, and the bottle does nothing, actually, so that that was a lot less bad than it looked like. Yeah. Still kind of shitty, but... Uh, do we Ooh, drop the plan. end of the start of the turn? Uh, that is a good question. Refill your hand is at three after playing cards. Okay, so actually... Oh, oops. I would have gone up to four, but then, um, and then gotten the extra card from the destroy, or does destroy happen right away? Um, destroy happens right away, but that gets put in new cards, and new cards, the new card enters your hand after. Wow, I'm in a similarly kind of shitty early situation here yeah i'm just figuring out to make sure that how i like refill my hand is completely legal how i end up going about it well so i think it it happens before resolution right so you would have drawn two more cards and then one would have been discarded i think yeah that's that's not the problem the problem is i'm checking when cards go from the new card area to your hand oh yeah yeah because that timing matters take all the cards from the new card area and add them to your hand keep in mind there's no hand limit and then drop four okay so uh i would have one more card basically okay okay we did oh yeah 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 God, I'm only on three cards now, though, which sucks ass. That Katana guy is actually a lot meaner than I thought. So let's see. At the beginning of this phase, if you have four... beginning of this phase, take all the cards from the new cards area, add them to your hand. If you have fewer than four, then you should draw cards from the player deck so you have at least four. That's after playing cards, though. Yeah. So you take new cards and then you put them in you put them in your hand, then you draw up to four if you're under that. If you have more yes. than if you have four or more, then you move on to the next phase. Okay. Correct. Alright, so I don't have enough cards <coughs> to do anything. Cause the only dodges that we the only things we have that involve dodge here are five or four, and I only have two I only have two amount of dodge in my hand. Well, but these four ones also let you do attack because they got the hex gun under them I, too. So I also have I, the only other card in my hand I, I have is pliers, which is which has a, a thing. That oh is wait, wait, wait! No, that's dodge. not bad. You can draw immediately using it. Um, I guess yeah. So we'll just it, it happens right away. So you play it for free and just draw a card, and that's already going to eliminate that gun. Okay, sure. Uh, so I'll draw. Okay. And then I will... Uh, the one risk is that your player deck is now empty, so we gotta put these here in check. Yeah, okay. So, uh, okay. Then I will play all the rest of the cards. Actually, well, I guess you haven't been told to draw from it yet. We'll wait till you're told to draw. So I'll I'll take all the cards from my hand and play them out to... Uh, let's see. What is secret plan? Play this card along with another one to use it twice. Okay. So here's the thing, though. Um... Secret plan would already playing, be removed. You played a total of five, yeah. So I could actually just play it on pliers and remove pliers, and then that removes the entire board. Yes. So let's do that. So okay. How yeah. did you put these together? You just shook them? 
Yeah, if you shake cards, they all kind of stack up together. Okay. They don't completely stack up, but they like all you cluster them all together, no matter where they were. Okay. Um, okay, so those all go. You gotta hold down when you gotta yeah. stack. You got that fuck shit um, stack. stack. Yeah. So let's see. Flyers very importantly goes to new card. Yep. Because you need to draw back up before anything else, so you need to take that new card first. Well, hold on. At the beginning of this phase, take all the cards from the new card area and add them to your hand. Then, yes, if you the have, pliers. then if you have fewer than four, you should draw cards from the player deck until you have. Four. Yeah, but this is important that you need that doing the pliers happens right now because otherwise you'd lose the game. Oh right, yeah. Well, and then I, this uh, goes here, and you can draw th You draw the three remaining in it. Oh right. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you had to draw first, you would have been completely out. However, oh, sure. all of these... Now get thrown at a player discard, right? <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Clean, smooth All right, body. so there's nothing that there's nothing that resolves, so we just fill the stack. Uh, and you drew five cards in the same turn. Oh yeah, so we um yeah, so this uh this this goal is resolved. So this goes to the bottom yes. of the goal deck. So now we only have one goal left to resolve, which is this. We gotta get about... shot. <laughs> Yeah, which is very likely there is a lot of bullets in this deck now. <laughs> There's only nine bullets left in the bullet deck. All right, so it's my turn where I'm at an unfortunate disadvantage. Um, all right, so, I mean, I can shoot that flip the table thing, but that doesn't seem that super helpful. Let me... Once again, just play out my cards to show the thing, because I do have gun. 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 Powerful weapon. <laughs> um, so, oh, yeah, you only have one dodge. I wish I had my dodges now, but I still wouldn't have had enough total to get past plan, the pillar. Yeah, so you could shoot... Uh, you could also shoot the... Uh, okay, you could shoot the bottle, and that would remove the first three. Yeah, but in, if I shoot the bottle, like, I... Well, it wouldn't remove the... I mean, I guess it would remove the bottle, but at the same time, bottle's not doing anything to us, right? Yeah, but you don't have enough to resolve anything else and play all your cards. Because you don't have enough to flip the table. Well, you well, you don't have you you have enough damage that you could destroy that you could remove the table, but then you don't have enough to do anything else. So you're only going to be able to cycle. Right. Yeah, I only get one through. That's right. Because you can't you can't overtax into it. Uh, I guess you're right. That seems such a waste, though. Ah, uh, yeah. Job, God, my hands suck <laughs> so much. <laughs> All right, fine. Yeah. Katana dudes suck ass. Yeah, no, that was, uh, that hurt. All right. Uh, okay, so, yeah, let's, uh, shoot the bottle. Uh, I need any cards at this point, so I'm not, I'm not at a point where I can be selective. Mm hmm I mean, table and shotgun uh, ain't bad. Yeah, so these are gonna go here. Um, this is going to go here, this is going to go here, and I guess it's not that bad. I mean, we do we, get shot with a shotgun, we, but that's we, we only two, two bullets. bullets in the, yeah. Because the other two things are passive things that don't do anything. Yeah, this pillar and this table exist. Okay, so now I have a fucking crazy hand, okay. So I will note I can overcome like just about any dodge challenge next turn. <laughs> okay, um, I can. Because of that model. So I can drop dude with I can drop katana guy. Katana seems pretty sick. Yeah. Because so... it's two damage or destroy a flying bullet. Yeah. So I think I can. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because that will also reduce our threats to one guy with gun. Okay, uh, now, however, alternative. 
Actually, I could do... Um... How low are... Because depending on how low we are on bullets... It, no, we're not super low, I guess. Uh, that's the thing we could just kill off guy with gun and just, like, try and absorb well, shotguns. Well, so I could just, play like, three Katana. cards out of my hand and take out Katana Dude and guy with gun. Ooh, that seems super worth it, actually. Yeah, I just realized that Katana is, is fight and dodge. Yeah. So against Katana guy, I'm going to play a shotgun and flip the table. <laughs> flip the table, block his Katana, then shoot him in the face with the gun. And then versus guy with gun, I'm going to use a shotgun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How tricksy. Uh, now, are you knocking either of them out, or are you just... Uh, I think I'm going to kill both. I think I'm going to destroy both of them. Okay, so I'm moving both the new card. Yeah. And um, then, uh, then playing three cards out of my hand um, moves all of these into my discard. Yes. And then... Uh, those These two go to your hand. Yep. Then you draw one more from your player deck, which is currently empty, so now draw that. All right, and then those go on there. And then a pillar resolves. Yeah, the pillar sits there menacingly. Uh, now we have to reshuffle the obstacles deck. Yeah, well, we we draw all out first and then reshuffle the what remains. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, about 30% bullets now. An unarmed dude. Two unarmed dudes. Alright, this seems very dealable with. Yeah, this seems relatively reasonable. <laughs> if another man shoots, he also shoots. But, like, if I just get rid of Gun Boy, they don't do anything. Yeah, and then you can also take. You could also take the briefcase. Uh, briefcase? Uh, secret plan. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh yeah, right, right, right. Um. Yeah, so I'm thinking. Um. Can I play out just everything? Because this resolves this thing on its own, no matter what. Because I got a fuck ton of cards in my discard. You've, yeah, I've got five. So that's a that's five yeah. dodge. It solves anything. <laughs> That it can be dodged, except for gun, because gun can't be dodged. Yeah, well, it can only resolve a single thing, remember, because you can't split... Sure, sure, sure. But my point is that it can do, do a single thing. So I can punch out one one of these boys, well, if you punch dodge out gun, the other one, if you punch out gun and then guy, I capture then... these three. Let's see. Well, I don't need to punch out gun guy, because I'll get these three oh, yeah, if yeah. I deal with these two. And then Pillar continues to sit there doing nothing. Sure. Yeah, that works. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, so, um, I don't particularly want the punches, though. You can knock him out. Yeah, I think I just will. Are they only, oh yeah, they're only one to deal with, right. Um. Actually, are they? No, no, there... no, they're two to deal with, but I punched one twice and dodged the other one with my huge dodge. Okay. Um, but so yeah, I'll knock both of them out, and then I will absorb these. Um, and yeah, then everything starts resolving. Yeah, so there's a pillar there. And the other so... advantage, yeah, the knocking things out actually seems pretty valuable in this case, because these are just dead cards for them. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I... Do start... knocked out cards come back to life the next round? I don't believe so, no. Let's see. What does knocking out a thing do? I think it just does it just sit in the line. It's just is it just nothing. Yeah, I believe so. I believe it just sits in the line doing nothing. I can check, but I think that's it. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I understand what what knocking out does. Throwing them or knocking them out. Uh... The ability to face down cards when they leave the yeah they just go or they just go to, they go to obstacles so instead of player discards so that's the only other that's the only thing. And when they leave the line. Yeah. But they have not left the line. Okay, yeah. So then we just move, we advance these. But yeah, it's a good way to keep junk cards out of your hand. Oh, first Ooh, bullet. Ooh, shotgun boys. All the shotgun boys. Let's see. Um, hmm. 
So I've got pliers. I've got pliers, katana, and two guns. So I could draw a card because I don't have anything that can particularly deal with the shotgun boys. Your deck is dense enough that you're not going to get fucked up for drawing a card. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have the capacity to remove one shotgun. Okay. Um, that's probably okay. Yeah, because then there will just be one shotgun left in the line. Yeah, I think that's something we can deal with. All right. So. How many cards does that play out? Three. Okay, I think that's fine. All right. So. For Shotgun Boy, I have a gun. Now, question. What is your remaining card? Katana. Um, I feel like do you it... want to do the sharing thing you can do with me of, like, placing it down between us for me to potentially use next turn? Uh, yeah, sure. So I'll play that in the neutral zone, the forever yeah, zone. <laughs> the ot zone. Be gone, ot. All right. So, and then I guess I'll destroy the shotgun because shotgun is a decent card. It's pretty good, yeah. So then, um, oops, right, I gotta hold. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you get those. Uh, goes to your hand. And then, um, yeah, so then. I'll deal with these. This goes to there. And those go to these. obstacle. Yeah. I think I draw two, and then we resolve. Or I draw three, rather. No, you draw all the way back up, yeah. Yeah, I dropped a four. And then we resolve. Which is two bullets. We're running low on bullets to add to the pile. We are, which is it is a point of danger. But we, but, are, think... but we do have a katana on the field, and we know bullet is coming up next turn. So we can start putting bullets back in the bullet deck. Okay, so do we want to put bullets back in the bullet deck, or do we want me to forcibly get the bullet to resolve our goal? Uh, actually, yeah, taking a bullet would be important. Uh, man, this is a weird, this is a weird setup, huh? Yeah, it is incredibly weird. Uh, now one sec, let me go. How do, how do we obtain bullet? Do we just let it resolve? Yeah, so you have to play one or fewer. You have to so play two actions. Ugh, that's really not great, huh? Um, I mean, I guess I can just do that. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. So let's see. So uh, we will katana uh this t table. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut through this table with my <laughs> with my Hanzo uh, steel. Yeah. Um. And then do something to that then statue. I'll shoot. I'll shoot a statue. Do you gonna destroy it or flip knock it. it? Okay, knock it out. Yeah. All right. I don't want it. <laughs> um. Okay. And then um. Cool, cool, cool. My hand's full of trash right now, but I guess that's okay. You know what? I'm just going to offer as a team gesture this dodge. All right. I can't remember what happens to those. If, they, if, if they're if they not used, they go into obstacle, right? <laughs> Let's check. Uh, aid. Um, the next player's turn can use the ability of it in a hand. Keep it on table until it's used because it doesn't count as part of their hand. If the player doesn't use it, the player card returns the original player's discard at the end of the turn. Oh, wow. So it doesn't even like hurt you to do that. Oh, wow. Okay. That's really advantageous. Yeah, jeez. Um, jeez, okay. Wow. That's really good. Um, <laughs> it can just be cycling at the worst of times. All right. Um, yeah, we should be doing that more Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So then uh, I uh, take that. Um, these go in my discard. Um, and then, uh, wait, wait, stop it. I'm trying to select just one. No, oh, stop. I think you had to, maybe you had to play three actions because the bullet needs to go face up into your, into your, into the, 
I think bullets also do that when they resolve, though. I don't know. Does a bullet resolve? Let me see. Pretty sure they do. Because bullets are normally a very bad thing. We just happen to want one right now for this stupid objective. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if I understand what the bullet card does. Bullet cards. Bullet cards in the line are considered flying bullets, so you can destroy them by playing obstacle cards and reaching the skill value shown in the lower right corner or any dodge with block. If you don't block them quickly enough, they end up in your hand. If you can't use a bullet card from your hands, they're taking a valuable room there. Yeah, where does it say the... Uh... Bullet cards in the line are considered flying objects, and you can destroy them by playing obstacle cards and reaching the skill value shown on the lower right corner. Um, if you destroy them, they're placed back on top of the bullet deck. So yeah, I think you need to. I think you need to do three actions that you draw it. That makes like zero sense. This what? <laughs> Why would? But then you could just ignore bullets. No, you can't because they keep moving to you every turn. Uh, I guess. Okay, one second then. Uh, like that's the super. Walk. That's that. That's that's how it's trying to replicate super hot. <laughs> Walk some of this back. I, I don't know. I feel weird about how the system functions, but all right. I mean, um, yeah, it's a weird system. I I don't disagree with that. Why Why are these stuck together? Can you? Uh, okay, I undid it somehow. Okay. <laughs> it's because you shook them. Uh, what went here? That was um. Uh, that was oh, flip the table. It was this table. So you katana okay. one table cool. and you shot the statue. And I still have this dodge in hand for right now. Okay, well, with all this new information in mind... You could probably... Um, you could try and play enough to destroy Shotgun. Yeah, I guess I'd just destroy Shotgun using these three. Okay. So, add that to new... Take... Oh, no, those don't go in there. They go in... Here. Seems so weird, because it says, like, the bullet goes to hand, though, somewhere. Whenever you interact with the bullet card, it always gets destroyed. Every bullet. Go straight to the top of the bullet deck. Ah, no. You also can't discard bullet cards by waiting. Whenever you interact with a bullet card, it always gets destroyed. Destroyed bullet card goes straight to the top of the bullet stack. Yeah, well, I guess it just goes in here and become dead weight in my hand later because I can't do any use it to do anything. Let's see. Face up obstacle cards removed from. Oh, so face up obstacle cards removed from the line go to the player discard, except for bullet cards. Those go straight to your hand. Okay. Oh, so that's always dead weight. You can't remove a bullet from your hand without pliers, anyway. Yeah. Which luckily I have pliers coming up. Mm -hmm. So eventually Actually, you can remove it once. Once we have fulfilled the requirement of taking bullets. Actually, then, change my mind a little bit. I'm going to put flyers in this zone, shotgun here by doing this set of things. Okay. Keep that gun for later. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you have enough, do you have enough things that you've, uh, that you can resolve the, uh, the yeah, goal? Yeah, 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 I played, uh, huh? Do you have enough things to resolve the goal? Uh, no, I'm only on three cards in hand right now. I need to draw one more, though. Well, you're so. going to draw pliers. Oh, wait, no, I'm getting card. pliers. Uh, yeah, actually, I do. Okay. So I have pliers, gun, dodge, bullet. Sweet. So we've passed level one. So we flip this goal over. Put the oh, fuck. That one goes back. There we go. <laughs> Then we draw All three right. new objectives. Yep. We can choose to veto uh, one card. Let's see, empty the obstacle deck twice seems rough, but they will end up next round, though, is the thing. At the start of your turn... Have only cards that give you fighting in your hand, not counting bullets. Not counting bullets seems to make that way easy. <laughs> 
I'm nearly there if I get rid of this. When shuffling your discard, have 14 plus cards and deck plus hand. What's my discard size? It's one. Okay. I don't have 14 cards yet. I have eight. I don't either. You'd have to kind of power go for that. And I have to try and consume as much as possible. Do you want to try and veto 14 cards in deck in hand then? Well, it'll end up as the n next objective, but that might be okay because then you will, we have, we'll probably be in a more comfortable position to do that next. Yeah, so by the point we put it next. back on top of the deck, I guess. Kill, Kill 10 boys. Oh, that doesn't. that seems easy enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's on to you, though. Okay. Um. All right, then. Wow, this is just a bunch of garbage. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of trash. Um, so... I mean, l literally, this line will do no damage, is worth noting. Yeah, yeah, so I can try and... Man, no actually, nothing in this will do damage, because these guys don't do damage unless somebody else shoots. So you can feel free to wait if you want to, because you won't get penalized at all for doing that. Yeah, because I can just... Yeah, I'll just, I'll just take a... Wait action, I guess, and I'll put so, this. Yeah, discard as many cards as you want from your hand. I'll put this Use katana in the oh, in the help sorry. in the help zone, because I kind of like how my hand is right now. Then take the obstacle from the start of the line and put it in your player discard. Actually, so wait, so yeah, so that would go to player discard, and you can get rid of something else to send there. All right. Oop. Um. Oop. Then we immediately move down to resolution and then refill. Oh yeah. yeah. One sec. I'll drag the whole thing, and then you drag and grab the bullet. Oh yeah, so I don't draw. Oh yeah, so I skip the draw phase. Is the other thing. I mean, there's no draw phase exactly. Well, there's the draw. Draw. We skip three, which is draw cards out of new area and refill up to four. Oh yeah, yeah. One sec. That's weird. Maybe weight's not nearly as good as it's. Like you're just throwing shit away and get one thing back. Uh, alternate. So alternately, I can. Oh, you don't have to discard any. Yeah. You could have just kept the katana. Well, I so it. I was putting it in this zone, but if you don't need the katana, then I won't. Uh oh, you can't do that anyway. You have to do that during phase three. Oh uh, okay. All right. So then, yeah, I'll just wait then. All right. Let's see. Well, this line still does nothing yet. Because bullets don't resolve, as we found yeah, out. Yeah, all we're so. going to do is pick up a bunch of dodges. Um, which I don't really want to do, but, uh, well. But you can remove a bullet from your hand, though, right? Yeah, so let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pliers out this bullet. Um, pluck them right out of me. Um, oh, baby. I think I, I think I just kind of want to be done after that. I don't think All I want right, to do so anything. Put, put those two shitty dodges in your hand, in your discard pile. No, I only played one, baby. Bullet came out from a different from the effect. It didn't play it. Okay, so take the one dodge then. <laughs> uh, and actually, yeah, because then I can use my katana to just to destroy this bullet as it's coming up. Man, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, I guess. <laughs> I'll use the katana to destroy the bullet. <clears throat> All right, sick. And just take a dodge. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did I, think, did I put the dodge in my? Mm, you put it over here. Oh, right, because I destroyed all the other stuff. There we go. So then we have a gun and a bullet. Okay. So then we have to deal with gun. Or knock out right, all of the um, punch boys. And we haven't shot any dudes yet. Uh, we haven't yeah, this killed is any true. boys. So we do have to kill a bunch of dudes. There are dudes coming now, up. Yeah, so is kill specifically knock out or destroy and not just like process past them? Uh, I guess. It's unclear what kill means. Let's see if let's see if there's an, a, a marker. There is some Erida here. Um... The search for kill just brings up skill values a ton of times. Uh, I'm, I that. would say that you'd need to interact with a... I'd say you need to interact with a dude in order to do it, because otherwise just okay. skipping them and processing them seems way too easy. Yeah, I will admit, it does seem pretty easy. 
I will say that this is uh, unclear. It does not say destroy or knock out. All right, let's see. I will shoot gun with gun. Okay. Uh, and dodge a bullet. <laughs> All right, so the bullet is destroyed. How does this get like? There we go. Got that kind of catty wumpus. Hey, we have destroyed one dude. We did it. We're up to one. Uh, generate. Can you generate a D10 from the objects menu? Uh, object components. I assume there's a die in there somewhere. Dice. M metal dice. D10 chrome. Thick. I'll, I'll set that up. Okay. And we've killed a dude. <laughs> you move that die to the bottom of the deck. A dude. No. One sec. <laughs> we'll get there. How do you set it to a specific value? There's probably a trick to it. Uh, let's see. A rotation value. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... And then, yeah, uh, so I take gun, mm -hmm. and then uh, you used two add things. these to my discard, which I'm not happy about, but... They're uh, gonna happen. It's gonna happen. That's just... Yeah, it just happens. We get trash. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so many boys! God. A useless line of boys. All right, well, I can remove a bunch of good stuff. The to... conga line involving a single bullet. Oh, shit, right, I forgot, I have this card. Man, I wish I could... Man, I wish I could uh, not waste all my good cards like this, but I'm going to have to. Um, What is it? Let's see. I'm going to play a secret plan to use a card <laughs> twice. All right. And I'm going to flip two tables. <laughs> To kill a punch boy and block a bullet or what? Yeah, I'm going to destroy a bullet, and then I'm going to throw a table at a boy, I guess. I'll knock, him, knock out. him out, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then... You uh, only you only uh, played two cards total, so you have to absorb the one punch into your pile. Well, so I don't then... know if I... So I have two shotguns in my hand. I don't know if I want to use them on punch boys to just get I us through this. I don't think you do. Yeah. I think so we can save that for better things. Yeah. So I'll flip, I flipped two tables. Uh, and so you absorb that boy. Yes. Oof. Bring him into your mass. <laughs> it's like uh, a Shura's can, wrath. Can you generate uh, some other type of die? Does not matter what. Uh, hold on. I need to draw my last card here. Um, any kind of die? Okay. Do you want to? Yeah. Are you doing one for it could be like, a coin for all twice? Yeah. Uh, I could just generate a poker chip. Yeah, that's fine. I just like things to keep track of. We didn't do it ten times, man. It is a single counter. Okay, and then I need to shuffle. Why do you need to shuffle? Because I. Full. Huh? No, because I, uh, because this is empty. Unless I... Oh, you only shuffle it when you draw from it when it's okay. empty. Well, let me do this then. It's going to be it shuffled anyway, so it doesn't though. matter that I shuffle yeah. it. All right, so it's used. Um, all right, on to me. You have a gun uh, to deal with and a bullet. <laughs> well, I can't deal with the bullet as is. Now, let's see. What's this other one? Only have fighting cards in hand to... Do you have only fighting cards in hand? No, I have a dodge, a fight, and a and two fight dodges. Or I have I have a I have a Oh I got a plan. So I have a I have a miscellaneous, a dodge, and two fights. Alright, so so here's my goal. I'm gonna first plan. Do I actually want to plan? Never mind. Uh, I don't think I do, actually. Give you only have skill cards that give you fighting so plan does not count for this right i think it's uh it says only bullet cards don't count i guess you're right okay so yeah i'll plan then
Um, Did that help? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, it also says at the start of the turn. Oh, at the end of the turn. You're right. Oh, whoop. Oh, wait, no, that's the pillar's effect. We have never read what pillar does. It actually does something. Oh, at the end of the turn, draw an extra card. Draw an extra card. We should have kept track of that. No, this is just draw text. Well, I think I mean it's not. It's not a huge change. That would have been advantageous more than anything. So I don't think it's bad that we missed it that much. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, my secret plan to dodge this bullet twice. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right. So Uh, we've removed all the bullets from the stack. Uh, th- we are going and to then add I'll shoot the gun uh, boy. Okay, I was about to say we're about to add four bullets to the to our to our queue here. I'm gonna get a ton of punches in my set, which I'm not happy about, but I think this is worth it. I mean, it'll add to it'll add to your to your thing to be ultimate fight boy. Uh, that is true, <laughs> but I'm also already at ultimate fight boy status. Actually, we're gonna conclude that one at the start of the next turn. That's part of why I played it out that way. Okay. All right, now I can. Oh, uh, we need to increase this. You yes, killed one yes, dude. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm maintaining it. Don't worry. All right. Uh, so we need to deal with gun and preferably katana. Again, punch boys are worthless. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can deal with katana. I do have two shotguns. Man, I think it's more important to deal with gun than anything else. Actually, I should have done that earlier. Never mind. I was gonna offer you another card to use, but I should have done that earlier. I can also, well, I don't, I don't want to use that to get rid of briefcase. So I can get, I can get rid of gun and I can get rid of katana. Um, I have enough cards in my hand that I can do that. I can also play this. You plan can do both just or just two one? Cards. Hmm. So you, can you get rid of both gun and katana? Or oh, yes, yeah, can, if you just can, play enough things to get rid of gun, then you'll absorb katana. I can play. Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah, if I play enough things to get rid of gun, I can play a plan, and then I can play a shotgun, and that will absorb katana. That sounds good. That sounds worth doing. Okay. Uh, oh, now I have to reshuffle anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to absorb a lot of cards as soon as possible. Or, like, do anything to, like, help destroy things because you're running low. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah, close. What? I don't want to have a... I don't want to make a custom deck. Thank you. What the fuck? Uh, what? <laughs> I for- Somehow I drew another plan when I wasn't looking. Just, just hold on to that. Don't worry about. It. Okay. Well, this does this does improve my options though, because now I don't have to. Well, actually, uh, actually, no. I'll just burn a shotgun on this, because I still need to play f- exclusively fight cards to destroy gun. And then, um, and if you have more fight cards, you could knock out a punch boy, I guess. Or your the, dodge only fight, the only other fight card I have, uh, I do have a dodge. Um, but do you have if, a dodge that can hit up to two. Uh, actually, it doesn't do anything anymore right now. I have to wait until next turn for it to do anything. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So I absorb these. Yes. And then this does you, nothing. And, and you take gun. I, t- I take gun and I don't draw anything because I'm actually already at my limit. I'm actually past my limit because of because yes. of filler. Uh, and then at start of turn before, uh, oh, I also should have drawn up one more, actually, I was, but that's fine. That actually did not hurt me, because, yeah, we all fight, boys. (laughs) I'll shoot every motherfucker in this building. All right, so we resolve this goal also. I'm gonna move this, and then I'm gonna absorb this into the absorb this into the mission deck. All right, let's see. Um, God, do we just kill everyone in this line? <laughs> I mean, that would have that would get us up pretty fast in the kill ten boys line. Yeah. Okay. Um, How many of them did I don't bang, think you can? I don't think bang, you have the card bang, economy. my devil knock. trigger. <laughs> I don't think you have the card economy to knock a bunch of them out, though. You are correct, but I have enough card economy to kill them all. Yeah, so you can take all your guns and turn them into fists. So these go into this zone, and yeah, these all are going to go to my hand. Yeah, that's the the really shitty Magic the Gathering card, uh, guns to fist shares. 
<laughs> Guns to fists, yeah. And then this goes up by four. Oh, and I don't need to draw extra, because that just filled me back up. <laughs> by taking all their fists. Okay, so I have enough that I can deal with the rem the remaining two boys. And I can also get the bullet off the table. That sounds really important, yeah. Getting rid of bullets is super important to maintain. Yeah. So... Let's see. Uh, so I have two cards in my discard. Um, so I don't want to burn this like now, but I have to. So this plus this drops katana. And this draws drops gun. Oh, wait, wait. Hmm? You could instead knock out the dodge statue and absorb gun. Well, I want to increase our dude kill counter. Uh, That's I, true, I, but also your card economy is really low right now. Uh, actually, here, hold on. What instead I'm going to do is flip the table to destroy that bullet. Okay, so... If so not the bottle, because bottle's what you're doing for bullet, wasn't it? Uh, bottle plus bottle plus shotgun is what I was doing versus katana. Oh, I, I see, five. I see, I see, I see. Okay, and that's three. So you absorb these three. You take katana, and we get rid of bullet. That sounds good. So we increase the we increase dude we increase the death counter by one, and then I take all of these. All for Cyrus. And all for Cyrus. Katana, katana go hand. And Eric go bra. And yeah, we only need to kill one more dude. Hey, there's one more dude. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you have all the shitty punch cards. Um, <laughs> then you can absorb another shitty punch card. Yeah, I think I do need to take him so that I can start building up my... I, we need to build up to 14 cards on someone. Yeah. And I, I'm i closer than you, I think. Let's see, you're 10 total. If I absorb these three, I'm going to be on exactly 14. Okay. So, so yeah, I think that's... That's fine. Um... And I can't do anything else with that after that. See, so yeah, I guess that's just how it plays. I mean, I guess I could shoot this, but I don't want to. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to, I would be absorbing it at that point anyway. So, so yeah, so I'm just going to play those two punches out. Kill this punch boy to my hand. <laughs> These two go to here. Um... Oh yeah, and then your deck plus your discard is fourteen. So yeah, exactly. So we're set up for the next one. And we just um, are now it's when we shuffle the discards. So I'm gonna need to go through again, but that's fine. Yeah, but we actually just shuffled the discard. You destroyed this guy, and so this, this is complete. This yeah, solves this objective, and I think shuffling this solves this objective. Uh, when we will, which is right now. So yeah, so we're gonna complete both. So of those we're right actually away. finished with level two. So now we're on to level three. So we start level three by drawing this card, which is yep. When shuffling your discard... We can't re-veto. We, re we can veto any of the others, but not this one. Uh, you can't veto anything on level 3, actually. Oh, can you not? Okay, never mind then. Have 7 plus cards in your hand. Okay, let me throw these on the bottom. Sorry. Oop. Destroy 2 flying bullets in a turn. That one seems That seems rough. Rough. Empty the obstacle line at the end of the turn. Interesting. Huh. So deal with all six obstacles in one turn is one of them. So that's basically deal with the last three obstacles and let your, you absorb the front. So we need to start throwing bullets back in the bullet deck so that we can destroy some bullets. <laughs> yeah, I guess. We need to let ourselves get shot a few times. Um, um, seven plus cards in hand. Oof, that seems rough. Yeah, well, you gotta like we just, stack we just up on those, plans. Yeah, we just have to have those pillars, right? Yeah, you gotta. Someone needs to like go all in on making sure they have a ton of pillars. Yeah, I have a plan in hand right now. I'm a also, man secret plan is really good to help out with that because you can double up your plan. Yeah. 
Uh, um, it is your turn, though. It is me's. So I can do th- three things. So I could destroy a bottle, and I could destroy one shotgun, and the other shotgun will fire. Um, is there a way you have to destroy the bullet and just let the shotgun boys fire because we want more bullets Oh, in the actually, line, I can destroy the bullet with the anyway. I forgot that's what I was going to do. Okay. Um, and then I absorb the glass. So this goes back into here. And then I take, and then I take this and discard. And then these process... Draw one card. I draw. Oh, I draw my last card out of this. Okay. Okay. Cool. Boy, that's a lot of boys. Yeah, it's a lot of men's. Uh. Okay. Let's see. What can I do? And we do need to start um, addressing shotguns eventually because we just added four fucking bullets to the so, obstacles. Oh, I did not mean to play that like that. That's an um, interesting way my cards have emerged from my hand. <laughs> yeah, you know. I just want to point so out how fascinating this is. We just made a card castle. <laughs> Apparently. All right, so let's see how I can resolve my series of things. So we can, I mean, uh, you can deal with one, you, you can destroy one shotgun and cycle out the other yeah, shotgun. Yeah, so I could do that and then absorb these three inherently. Um, and then you can also play another one to destroy I... one gun, but then we that's still not enough to take out the whole line. But we get one more. Yeah, the problem is I could destroy both guns, but that only uses three cards and leaves this shotgunner around. No, you you play these three to destroy the shotgun, and you play this one to destroy one of the. No, guns. no, shotguns need five. Oh total. fuck! Right, yeah. Sorry. So yeah, yeah, it'd be five to destroy one shotgun, and then... so. So I can either take out both gun boys and absorb everything but this shotgun and let him fire, or I can destroy this shotgun, absorb these, and let both guns fire. What is your preference? Um... We get two bullets either way. So it depends if you prefer to have two guns on board or one or uh, a shotgun boy on board. Hmm... Let's see. Because we need to destroy two bullets in a turn and have seven cards in hand. Again, there's always going to be two bullets fired no matter what, how this turn resolves. Right. Um, I'd say deal with... I'd say take out the shotgun because that's an easier threat to deal with. Or that's it's a harder threat to deal with. Although, I guess no matter what, like they're going to get processed at the, at the end of the turn. Yeah, because he's going to be right up at the front. He's going to get so processed. So really, it's the same, it's the same thing's going to happen either way. Okay, and let me just, get rid of the gun play... guys then. Yeah. I'm going to kill both gun guys, mm-hmm. which puts them into my hand, and then absorb these three. I'll fiddle with that in a second here. Um... Punch gun. <laughs> oh, man, that's a really good video game title. But... Did, wait, you didn't play all four. Oh, yes, you are correct. Uh, one punch remained. Oh, there's all our pillars. Okay, you need hey, to so get if we as wait, many we can just draw a bunch possible. of cards. <laughs> yeah, you need to get as many of those as possible. Well, one well no, wait, because when, when they're on the field, we draw cards at the end of turn. This is also true. Oh. Although, mm. what's the thing? Is it have seven cards in your hand? Have seven plus cards in your hand. At any given point in time. So you'd need to be on five and end the turn. Well, hold on. I could do that. Because I can play a plan out of my hand to draw two cards. And then I draw two more cards. You let three more bullets go into the field that way, though. Which I'm not No, because this because the shotgun processes. Because I did something. Oh, right. Both the shotgun and the punch process. Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or just the shotgun, but yeah. Shotgun processes. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. doesn't do anything. So, okay, yeah. sick. Um, oh, yeah, because this would... Well, that doesn't get. That doesn't end up in my hand yet because I'm playing this to immediately draw two cards into my hand. That would process afterwards. Because uh, pillar... Process pillar just... Because plan, plan is just draw two cards. I don't know. What is, mm. Does it say anything about plan? 
Oh, please. Because I feel like he played... Oh, right, right, right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, never mind. You're right. You're right. Okay, so yeah, that wouldn't be in there yet. Now it would go there. Yeah. So then plan goes here. Everything processes. So I draw two cards for this. And that takes me to seven cards. So we have resolved okay, we have resolved the seven cards objective. And you're going to have a lot of options for that coming turn. Oh man. Uh, well, I I'll say that I'll say that I can pro I'll probably be able to process the entire line in one turn. Uh, cuz I had a lot of yeah, shit. Yeah. I have gun, punch, dodge, katana, flip the table, dodge, punch. <laughs> it's just combined it's very strong on its own. It's like every it's just a bunch of shit though. Got to draw one. Um, let's see. Okay, this current board is incredibly non-threatening. You could just wait and draw a bunch of cards. <laughs> yeah, I'd take that punch, but I think that's fine. Yeah. Let's see, how many cards do I have total right now? I have 4 plus 9 plus 3, so 16. Um, and I get that punch, I go up to 17. So I don't mind discarding with my weight two more punches. <laughs> okay, well that removes one of the plans off the table, though. Because you're going to you're gonna absorb that and then you're going to draw no, one. No, 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 I'm not pillar. playing two punches. I'm waiting, and like you always. Get oh, you did. You're gonna discard them. Okay, I get it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I draw two, so I'm still at four. I didn't like crazy explode, but I I maintained, which is fine. Okay. Um. So let's see. So this is three, three, two, four, two, two. Um. Okay. So let's see. So I can destroy the gun and because I, I have two I got two damage here easy then I can destroy the table and then I can I have enough dodge left that I can because I got seven cards in my hand so here's my plan so punch punch gun is dead okay and you do want to immediately take him because gun's good so yeah, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to shoot the table. Okay. Then I'm going uh, you to... play two more cards. Then I'm going to dodge, flip the table, dodge again to deal with this, to take the briefcase. Okay, and great. six and cards out of my hand, which empties, yeah. which empties the line. Which would empty the entire line anyway, yeah, so <laughs> even if you hadn't killed anyone. We've emptied the obstacle line. Okay. So these all go in here. And I take, let's see, this goes into there. And then I draw these. And then you draw a card at end of turn. Uh, well, that got that one got processed. Oh, right, it got processed. Never mind. Yeah, put it over there. So then... Okay. Oh, we have to reshuffle the obstacle line. Which hey, that means because... we might deal with bullets. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why it's good. Now, do we have a... <laughs> the other question is, do we have a good way to destroy bullets? I currently don't, but we can most likely find them. We can them. cycle things. Yeah. I have, I have two ways I can destroy bullets. This board is less than ideal for these pur for that purpose also, but... Oh well. Okay, so we're going to process the dude with the shotgun no matter what we do. Yes, Correct. Um, so it's about dealing. It's about getting rid of the guns. Cause... I love how we talk about this game like we're some like eldritch eating abomination, analyzing things rather than actually fighting these. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what he will super be absorbed into my masts. <laughs> that's what fucking super hot is. You just absorb things. I don't tend to just absorb dudes with shotguns personally, but you know. So I'd say deal with it. We need to deal with the guy. Either deal with the punch boys or deal, or deal with the two guns. Because otherwise, we're we're taking four bullets this round, and we're so running I'm out of bullets in the bullet deck. <laughs> shoot this gun boy, mm -hmm. and shoot this punch boy. But I'll flip him rather than take him. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I think that's that's what I like, and then I will end up stealing these two. Oh yeah, and then they just move down the line. Gotcha. Good call. Um, and in case you then take the gun. need it, here's a punch offered for you, friendo. Okay. And then take the take take gun and some cards. Okay, cool. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Well, I can still deal. Oh with my! This. I can deal with this. I got. Oh fuck! I can actually super deal with this. Okay. All right. It's super hot. So. Super deal. First off, I reveal my secret book plan, which involves two katanas. <laughs> Did you know that when you hold a katana with both hands, you swing it twice as hard? And then I wait. Do gonna... you want those bullets or do you want this bullet? Uh, well, I'm also gonna flip the table. Okay, great. So we have resolved the destroy two flying in a turn. And I'm yeah, gonna take that as better. at least two, and not exactly two. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then all the rest of these process. So I absorb the punches, and then one of the punches goes in obstacle discard. Wait, did you play four cards? I only played three. Um. Oh yeah. This punch one was in position four. Yeah, that punch goes in. Okay, that punch goes there. Yeah. Okay. Fair. All right. So let's see. All we have left is to have 14 cards in hand uh, in total when shuffling to this card. So we just need to hold uh, out yeah, until which then. I just, I just need to draw through, basically. So all that's... Yeah, so just play a bunch of cards to get rid of shit. <laughs> and we win. Um, yeah, okay. Um, shotgun a statue, shoot a punch boy... Um, one sec, I gotta look how many cards I'm on. Yeah, okay, that's that should be fine, because I'm absorbing two more, and that's... Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, all pliers to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll flip this table at the other punch boy. Oh, I should have drawn. Um... And then I actually have to reshuffle my deck because I ran out of cards. Oh, wait. Do I lose? Because I can reshuffle. Mm -hmm. It's if you if you run out of cards while drawing, you just reshuffle, right? Yeah. Okay. You only lose if you have none available left to reshuffle in. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking. We've done this number of times. <laughs> um... And then... Man, why do I always draw this card when I have yeah, fucking that. nothing in discard? Actually, wait. No, not that one. I'll take that one just to get it out of the way. <laughs> you dropped some on the table there. Whoops. Where'd, where'd they go? Is it this? Oh, yeah, this guy's still... Oh, fuck, right. I need to send this guy an email. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Where did I drop things on the table? Hmm? You dropped it under your hand. Some cards fell out of your hand and onto the table. Oh, weird. Wondering where this went. Because they were okay. Because yeah, they were yeah, organized yeah. properly. Um. Okay. And then that goes there. That goes there. In fact, this entire stack goes there. I process these. Ugh, okay. You can take you can take a couple bullets without dying. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna eat like. Let's see. Ugh, I just okay. need to draw five more cards total, and we win. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna absorb two bullets this way, but I think it's probably okay. <laughs> I don't want to, but I, I have to. <clears throat> Uh, all right, so gun, gun, punch, katana boys down. And then I absorb, let's see, I think I draw this into my hand and I absorb the two bullets and then my turn's over. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. All right.
Yes, plan, good. This is good. You don't happen to have a plan in or anything like that in hand, right? Or a secret plan Negative. to offer to me? Okay. Uh, no, let me see. Hold on. What it, you've got nine well, cards. The... I'm going to... Here, I will offer this to you. Hooray. There you go. Thanks. Let me offer you a bullet. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll use that, right? I'll use it to... It doesn't matter what I use it on. Um... Yeah, and you have uh, you 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 can dodge any one thing. Dodge punch, dodge punch to the same punch, punch punch the other punch. <laughs> um, dodge this bullet. All right. Uh, that yeah, that and, processes. Yeah, that's, so that, that's that, fine. And you just absorb the other two things. <laughs> yeah. So um. Are you gonna have enough cards if you do that? Yeah. No, I have enough cards. Okay. Um, so, uh, whatever, I'll just take these. Oh. Oop. You put it in your hand in defense mode. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's see. But yeah, punch goes here, punch goes here. Absorbed into my mass. Actually, no, I don't want to. Well, so let's see. You've got them. four in discard, and you've got eleven. Or you got eleven yeah, in discard. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. So I don't want to draw them, so I'll knock them out instead. They the one is yeah, in line. Yeah, because then you draw the four out of your hand, and then you can then you can draw from discard next turn. Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, I'll definitely be able to. So just don't die. <laughs> Which is as simple as waiting, actually. Why did I lose a card out of... Oh, because I gave you one of my cards, right? Yep. So how about... But yeah, this... and, you, and you played How about a Glass. Yep. Uh, yeah, because yeah, we this, only... This doesn't Let's see, what we get... Wait. Oh, yeah, because we draw four cards out of the bullet deck, which is irrelevant. So yeah, just yeah. wait. Oh no, look at all these balls. <laughs> Whatever will we do? Uh, anyway, my turn starts. I'm going to play pliers and draw a card. Oh, look at that. So yeah, once you shuffle, hey, we fulfilled this requirement. I did it. Yay. Oh uh, man, the only thing is... Super is... Yeah. hot. Super hot. hot. My favorite thing, did you ever watch the super hot run at GDQ? No. Because my favorite thing about that is because the guy's speed running the game. It's um, just a regular fucking hard game. No, no, no. Well, I mean, he's, he does a lot of stuff. But my favorite thing is um, if you click your mouse, then you can speed through super hot at the end. And it's like if you so one of the things I like is if you mash through this, it sounds like the guy's saying hot soup. <laughs> <laughs> he goes soup hot, soup hot, soup hot, soup. <laughs> uh so thoughts i think this is interesting and it's really more of a puzzle game than anything because you're not likely to lose yeah it's just about figuring out how to deal with it at least in two player you're not likely to lose maybe in single player there's more of a chance but you still have the same like total action economy for the most part yeah and you don't goals. have to deal with as many sim simultaneous objectives and the objectives all seem pretty good. But we were since... able to split up between each other the objectives, which was nice. Yeah, so we were able to eat the one bullet we needed to eat and then immediately <laughs> remove it. Yank it out like a tooth. <laughs> a little. But yeah, uh, I, yeah, yeah. Put it it's... under my pillow for the bullet fairy. I've definitely played, uh, I've definitely played worse games. Um, I think when it comes to this and the video game, I think I'd prefer the video game. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. This is, was well, entertaining and not a bad time, but like, was, I'm trying to see what the appeal of playing it more times would be, and I'm not really succeeding. Especially like playing, yeah, and I don't understand the purpose of a strictly solitaire card game. 
I mean, it's not strictly solitaire, Matt. We just played it together. Yeah, well, they they bolted on rules for two player. There's also bolted on rules for three player, where one person's controlling the line somehow. Yeah, I saw that there was a game master position for uh, there. There was a game master position that you could have in the scripted one. Also, there is a scripted version of this on tabletop sim, but we didn't use it because we couldn't figure out how to make it work for two players. There was a two player. Yeah, so there was a P two deck, but it didn't do anything. Deck. Yeah, it would have been. It didn't need to be scripted. We could have still figured it out, but at the same time, like. Again, there was just wasn't a seat for another player. Yeah. Which was kind of the issue there. But yeah, um, I like the aesthetic. I like the way they kind of set it up. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I'd say give it a try on Tabletop Sim if you enjoyed like watching or listening. Uh, that's probably about the amount of recommendation I'll give it. Yeah. And if you're playing it solo, there's a scripted version that does all the drawing for you and shuffling. Yeah, and yeah there you go. So there you go. All right. Uh, yeah, so until next time, peace, I guess. No, war. <laughs> peace, war. <laughs>